see your comments, I hear them, and thank you so much for understanding that the vlogs are going to be a little bit of a rarer thing currently. You really have to be in the right mindset to film them, and right now I'm just having a beauty moment. I really enjoy filming beauty videos, so I hope you don't mind that. But today I thought I would do a weekly vlog and for the rest of the week, kind of like old school style, like film three or four days, and then piece them together into one video. Today is Monday. I am currently wearing a double denim combination and I do look a bit like Britney and Justin circa early 2000s or whenever that was. It's not really a clothing combination that I'm particularly proud of <laughs> but a lot of my clothes are either in the wash or at the dry cleaning so I did that thing where I sort of opened up my wardrobe and was like yeah it's just gonna have to be a bit of a weird one today but today I'm feeling very motivated to write blog posts. I feel like I've got a real shaky hand. I've obviously lost a lot of arm tone since I last did this but yeah I'm feeling very bloggy today which is good so I'm gonna try and get quite a few blog posts like written and ready to go which would be nice. I just got ready and I thought I'd do a little ready eyeshadow look today. I used MAC Amorous Alloy I think it was called over the eyes which is a limited edition shade which is quite similar to MAC Cranberry and then I popped a bit of MAC texture in the crease if you're wondering what was going on but I have very greasy hair and I always feel like if you've got the greasy hair going on just do a bit of makeup and no one no one will even know <laughs> but something exciting just happened. The postman came and next week, I think it's next week, me and Lily are going to Paris with Lancome. Very exciting. I think we're gonna to get to meet one of our favorite makeup artists, which is very cool. And we're also gonna to get to meet one of the ladies who wrote How To Be Parisian. And I've wanted to read this book for the longest time, so they just sent it over to us as a bit of research before we meet her. So that is what I shall be reading on my lunch break today. And speaking of which, it's got to quarter to two because I've just been so in the zone, I haven't even thought to make lunch, so I think I'm gonna make some eggs in some shape or form. So Mark got back from work, woo! And it's actually a really nice day, so we thought we are gonna do something with it, instead of just sitting and watching 30 Rock, like we normally would. And we're gonna go to the park, and I think Mark wants to go to the park because he thinks that there's going to be ice cream. There might be an ice cream van. Which, it's not, it's not a... at like almost half six in the evening, I'm not sure it's going to happen. And I secretly want to go to the park because it's by the fish and chip shop. Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> yeah. Look what we found. Ice cream van. I can't believe there was ice cream. camera action going on outside. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off out there. It's all kicking off out there. But that was good fish and chips. I really enjoyed that. Yeah, it's always really good though. I think we're going to call it a night and just watch a bit of... 30 Rock. 30 Rock, which is our new favourite. We're having our Tina, our Tina Fey moment after our Amy Poehler moment. Mark's really good. <laughs> <laughs> that was the theme tune in Mark's trombone voice. But we will see you. I've been up since like Mark left and I really like to just sit and break the back of like the days to-do list. So I've done that, I've done a few like blog posty ideas, I sort of had a little brainwave this morning so I sorted those out. But today I'm going to film some videos so I am very excited about that. But I thought I'd just check in with you, bring you along for the day again. It's probably going to be very similar to the other day but a few exciting things have happened. I finally got this! I've been waiting about two years for that to arrive, but I was so excited to finally have it and it just means so much and I'm just very grateful for all you guys who watch my videos and I'm always astounded by how many of you there are and I appreciate every single one of you, you really do rock. You really do, you really rock. What else is exciting that's happened? Oh, I've been reading this book and it's very good. Really enjoying that. I'm quite far into it actually. Yeah, about a third of the way in. 
enjoying that. Oh, painted my nails last night with Essie's Strut Your Stuff. Um, is it Strut Your Stuff? Yeah, I think it is. Really enjoying having that on. I'm struggling a bit today. I'm feeling a bit under the weather. I'm, I'm really like hot and sweaty and then really cold. Like I put my dressing gown on, which is probably not the best thing to wear. I'm going to get properly dressed in a minute, I promise. <laughs> and then I'm really hot and sweaty, like didn't sleep very well. I'm having like woman's moments, but I'm going to do this. I've tried to have a lot of water and I'm just going to power through the day. You've got, to, you've got to keep on going, keep on going. So I finished filming and I just finished filming the talky bit for a morning, relaxing morning routine, relaxing weekend morning routine. Haven't worked out what I'm going to call it yet. You guys would have seen it already because it would have gone up on Sunday and I'm going to get Mark tomorrow to film some of the cutaways for me so I'm excited about that one. But now it's just time to edit so I literally am going to be sat at my laptop for hours so I will probably fast forward and see you later on when Mark gets home and we're debating about what to have for dinner because there's literally nothing in the house that'll be fun see you then <laughs> look who's back from work sorry I got my braces and the lisp you're not pointing at me am I not I am now and what did you forget to do dinner <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was supposed to stop on my way back home, but then just got carried away and <laughs> ran for the next two. Was it your book? No, I wasn't reading my book. Oh, playing a game. No, I wasn't. No, no, no. Oh. Just got caught up in the moment and ran for my tube. So now we've got the dilemma of the facts. It's a Friday. Do we get takeaway? It's normally Saturday night takeaway, isn't it? We're not going to have, we're not gonna have takeaway tomorrow, are we? But we have fish and chips on the vlog. <laughs> we're like all these things. You can't say that. Oh. You're going to be like, all you do is sit around in your dressing gowns, eating takeaway. Eat Apologies for the brief pause there, but I've had a bit of a camera back street issue and I've just put in about four and none of them are working, but this one is. We've also come to a decision about dinner. What's the decision? I'm going to go to a, a gourmet restaurant <laughs> known in these parts as Domino's. <laughs> but we've both eaten very well today. We didn't have takeaway on any other night this week that you didn't see, and we're going to eat well this weekend. It's, it's Friday! You don't need to justify yourself. Nobody needs to justify themselves. We did, we did yoga earlier on in the week. We did. See? Balance. <laughs> <laughs> And save on heating bills. And we're just nice, nice we're just, and cozy. We just like to be really warm. And um, we're all ready to go. I've got the um, cheese-free pizza and sweet corn. <laughs> I think it's really nice. <laughs> we'll agree to disagree on that one. Thirty Rock is ready to go, and that's our Friday night. Wild Friday night. Living the dream. <laughs> <laughs> So today is Sunday and we've had a really productive morning. We did a lot of food prep this morning, went to Sainsbury's yesterday, picked up lots of food and we've got a beef curry in the slow cooker back at the flat which I'm very excited about. I think that's going to be really tasty. It smells really light. And then we cooked up ourselves a little picnic. We've got some guacamole, we've got some like tortillas that I've made into like nachos, a little technique I learned from Lily. We've got some strawberries and some like chili garlicky chicken bite things which I'm very excited about. I'm really hungry now and we're on our way to go eat it and we're gonna go to the Horniman Museum and Gardens which I saw on Liv Purvis's Instagram like a few weekends ago. Looked really fun. You'd heard of it as well hadn't you? I had yeah yeah, yeah I'm excited. And it looks like a nice place just to wander around. The weather's quite good, bit chilly, bit windy but nice and sunny. afternoon now we're gonna head back I think Mark wants to watch the F1 I do and then, and then we're gonna see how our slow cooking adventure turned out we've had quite bad slow cooking experiences in the past the last one was reasonable though the last one was lovely you made a chili and it was nice oh, okay, right, okay. Um, but before that we tried pulled pork and basically ended up with like 
raw pork Turn after right about eight hours. <laughs> so, fingers crossed for this one. So it's a few hours later and you may notice the slow cooker is there. And it's not that it was a disaster. It wasn't a disaster, was it? It wasn't a disaster, but it was just a bit... Uh... It was just a bit slow. We were getting a bit hungry. <laughs> you opened yourself. You opened yourself up to like a whole world of abuse there. Why? Because you said, well, it's just a bit slow. <laughs> it is a slow cooker. But it was. It was a bit slow, and it said to put in sweet potatoes and then leave them in for another twenty minutes. And I was like, yeah, twenty minutes wasn't enough. That's was not. It? That's not gonna work. So we've transferred it to the big old crock pot. Do you remember this crock pot? I think I vlogged us getting this and being like so excited about it. Oh really? But it is, it is great. World's best crock pot. So we're giving it a bit of heat and we'll let you know how it goes. Okay, here's what we've ended up with. It doesn't look too appetizing. We've had a quick taste and it tastes all right. Doesn't it? It tastes good. It tastes good. But I think we're gonna call it a night here. Oh, okay. Yeah, Can why I... not? What else are we gonna I'm gonna have a bath, paint my nails. Top shop blue rinse again, and then we're just blue going rinse. Shop. That's what it's called. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? It's yeah. Like blue rinse. Like blue rinse brigade. Yeah. But thank you for watching this little one-off weekly vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been fun to do one again. Yeah, it was nice. I had a really nice day. Yeah, I had a really nice day too. One men's museum. <laughs> I love you. Love it. I don't keep no, that. you just you just keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for watching, and we will see you soon. Bye. Bye.